Hey guys, what's up? Rajki here, and today we are going to do an oil change on a 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 Classic. But first, let's roll a real quick intro. All right, so we are under the hood here. We'll just speed things up. I don't want to waste anybody's time. Uh, there's a dipstick, throw up a picture. There you go. You can see that's the type of oil we're going to put in. 5W20 is what's required. Now, I found a really quick way uh, to do the oil change. Not everybody has to do it, but for the purposes of this video, just to show you where this bloody oil filter is hidden, because it's not the easiest thing to get to, uh, it's a lot easier if you take off the front tire. So, uh, by the way, there's a Spex 130 foot pounds uh, just to tighten them up. So we are under the vehicle now, and the one thing I notice is this vehicle doesn't have that big bar, which some of them does, so maybe the suspension is a little different, I don't know. So pretty easy to drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the video here, and then maybe just to keep everyone uh, engaged, I'll just throw up some dancers here so everyone can enjoy the rest of the oil draining. Okay, so we're underneath the vehicle, so just to try to look at this oil filter, if you look straight up from the bottom, you can actually see, there it is. I'll give you another view. So let's just come in here from where the brake rotor is. We can sort of pan in here. Keep in mind I have my phone, so it's not the easiest thing to maneuver into this small spot. But if you look up there, there you go, there's your oil filter. I'll throw up a little bit of an arrow for you guys. There you go, you can see that's the oil filter. So now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna try to take my hands and get my hands in here and undo it and see if I can just undo it from where I am. And no, it's pretty tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put a tool onto the oil filter to turn it. So you can see there I got the tool on and now I'm going to turn it. So you can see I'm turning it, so that's fine. And uh, I can actually get to it from the front, from the other side. So there's plenty of room there. So it's gonna get a little bit messy, I can tell already. And you can see it's dripping all over the frame and all over the front suspension uh, pieces here, uh, the front diff. But anyway, we got it out, so that's what counts. Uh, there's the factory filter uh, that's out. This is actually, I think, the second oil change on this vehicle. Now here you can see, uh, I'm just gonna use a mobile one filter. Uh, got it on sale, so why not? It looks uh, the same size as the factory filter. Uh, there's not a lot of room up in there, so I know some people, as long as uh, the filter has the same thread pitch, they'll try interchanging filters and stuff like that, but I wouldn't recommend it on this vehicle just because there's not a lot of room. So uh, anyway, you can see here, the filters are the same size, so we're gonna install a new filter now. Okay, so we are back underneath the vehicle. I just wanna pan in here just to show you uh, where the filter is gonna go. So right there, you can see, obviously we're gonna give the suspension a wipe down because it is quite dirty. All right, and the other thing is never put a filter on dry. You should always lubricate uh, the O-ring right here or the rubber seal. I guess it's not an O-ring, it's just a seal. So I should be using my gloves and so should you. So make sure we wear our rubber gloves when we're doing this. So this is the one thing, don't follow me. Wear rubber gloves when you're doing that. So now that we are back underneath the vehicle, we can see where it's gotta go. And I'm just gonna slip my hand in here and put the filter in. And I am sorry for the jittery service there. I think I'm gonna have to uh, fire my cameraman. Oh wait, I think that's me with the other hand. So uh, I can't fire myself or I can't make any other videos. So anyway, doing the best I can. And there you can see I got the filter on. And here I'm just gonna show you another quick view from the side, so you can see, looks pretty good. Okay, so it's time to put this tire back on. So I'll just put all the lug nuts on by hand here, and then I'm gonna get my impact gun and put it on. Now here's the thing, you can see here this torque sticks, only 110 foot-pounds. So it's only gonna allow me to tighten the bolts to 110. Uh, which is good because if you saw earlier, the specs were 130, so what I'm gonna do is tighten them all up to 110, and then I'm gonna use a torque wrench uh, just to do the final torque. Now what you could do too is just kind of snug them up and then lower it down and then use a torque wrench too. So you don't have to use that 110 thing uh, like I used it. Uh, but anyway, that's just what I did, and then you can see there's a little bit more twisting of each bolt just to get them to the 130 foot-pounds they're supposed to be. Uh, that is the factory specification. Now the other thing I was gonna mention is once I'm done tightening them in a star pattern, what I do is I go around each one individually uh, just to make sure the tool clicks and to make sure I haven't forgotten one because the last thing I wanna do is be racing around in the truck 
and lose a wheel because that could cause a crash and definitely don't want that. So good tip there for you. So we are back underneath the hood of the vehicle and I'm just taking off the filler cap and I'm going to fill the engine with 5W20 Pennzoil synthetic oil uh, that I bought. Uh, I've sped up the video, obviously not to waste anybody's time because I don't think you want to see me pouring this whole jug in. But anyway, there, the whole jug is in there. I'm putting the cap back on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the engine, run it for about 15 seconds or so, then wait and then check the oil again. And then what I'll do is I'll just do a few top ups and this will ensure my oil fill level is accurate. So what I'll do in the meantime is I'll just throw up something to keep you all amused and entertain you because you know what you're not going to want to watch me uh, do this or it's kind of boring so let's throw something on in the background that we can all enjoy Okay, so I've done my checks and the oil level is good. So time to reset the light. So now to reset the oil light, you're just gonna turn your ignition to on, but don't start the vehicle. Then you're gonna go down on your steering wheel just to the pads. You're gonna find where it says vehicle info right there. You see a reset button and then you just go to the right and you push it and you have to actually hold it and then it'll confirm. You can see there, it just changed. It is now 100%. Uh, if I try uh, to push to the right to do it again, it'll just, it'll do it again. So then I can use the down button to go to the yes, uh, push to go to the right, and then it'll just reset it again. So uh, that's all there is to it. So it's actually pretty easy. Now I can hit the left button and just go back to uh, the regular stuff that I had on there before. So the tools I used was a 13 mil wrench, uh, three eight drive ratchet, and then a band uh, clamp just to get the oil filter off. That's really all I use. Now, if you're going to uh, jack it up and take off the front wheel, I mean, obviously you need a jack and then you need a socket for the tire, but if you're just doing the oil change and maybe you're gonna drive it up on ramps or whatever, uh, these are the only tools uh, you used. Now, my buddy put Flowmaster exhaust on the truck, so I'm just gonna give a vid clip of that just to show you how it sounds with the Flowmaster. It sounds a lot better than stock. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Garage King over and out. Let's cut to the Flowmaster and have a great day. So here we're at the back of the vehicle, we're just panning back and actually he did get these blacked out JEM tips. Uh, they actually look really good on the back of the truck, but how does it sound? Well, let's take a listen. 